Hey there, in today's video, we're gonna dive into how to classify leads inside of your CRM. So Bardeen has a brand new AI classifier feature that we are really excited to bring you. It enables users to build their classification action to sort and organize emails or leads in CRMs. So we have some really awesome playbooks that we do wanna showcase to you in this video. But if you go to bardeen.ai slash playbooks and type in qualify, you'll notice that there are a myriad of different options right here. And also if you put in class classify as well, it can do the exact same thing. So for example, if I went to try it for classifying past emails as wanted or unwanted, I could click try it. And then if I connect my Google mail account, you'll notice that there is a classification task that is one of our new functions inside of Bardeen. And here I'm gonna have to specify or create the classifier that will organize my emails as invoices or receipts. So if you go here, I could start typing suggestions or I can click on this customized classification task. So I wanna classify new inquiries in my email inbox as potential sponsorship leads. Press save answer. And then it's gonna ask what's the main purpose or goal you wanna achieve with this system and why are you building it? I want to find emails that I need to respond to in order to move potential sponsors in the pipeline. So, you know, all of these questions are essentially going to give information to the automation. And the more information that you give it, the higher the level of accuracy. But it does also just work straight out of the box. What would be the ideal outcome when usifying this classifier? And how will you know it works well? Have a table in Airtable filled with potential leads for sponsorships. And if I press save answer, I can go skip that or add any additional context if I want Then press save answer, continue. And then category name one would be sponsorship lead. I could put a description there. A software company looking to sponsor a video, press save category. Affiliate lead, a software company looking for an affiliate video. Then for me, I'm just gonna continue because that should be it. Please give your classifier a unique name so you can identify it quickly when you're using it. So sponsor. So I can train the AI or not. Training the AI, I would essentially pick a data source and showcase to the AI what exactly it would look like, or I can continue without. So I can say specify a before date. If now is specified, any email that was received before now will be fetched. Let's try now and let's do after. I'm gonna say after two months ago. Now I just need to add a table in Airtable. So if I look up opportunities here, I can grab it in my sales CRM and I can connect it and match it to my different levels here. So status would be maybe the stage that they're in, but I could add any extra columns that would be needed within here. So the date, this kind of stuff, a link to email would be good if I were to add a URL property that would help. Like for example, a type would be, whether it be sponsored or affiliate. So like the classification. So I can map it to the classification, the explanation, an expected close date, the date property from the link to email, and then labels as well. So then I can pick the max number of emails. So let's, let's, let's pick 10. If I wanted to, I could also remember my inputs so that I make sure I remember the classification, the before and after date, where it was an air table, and even the max number of emails. So. I'm gonna change and untick the max number of emails, but I'm gonna save to my playbooks and run. So it's running in the background for a moment, and now it's analyzing. And it's gonna go through the process of analyzing all 10 of these and then give me information back out into my sales CRM at the end of the process. Now this is so cool. I ended up going through and uh, it's currently still running through this, but check this out. It's already classified one of my sponsors in here. I made a new view that's filtered to just sponsor leads inside of my Airtable. And you'll see right here that it says the text contains clear indications of a sponsorship agreement between the user and Scrinnel. The mention of a signed agreement, account creation, confirmed date for the video. Yes, this is very true. This is agreement of a sponsorship deal, 100%. So it ended up going through and classifying this without me even needing to go into my email. So is it still going through the rest of these and classifying the emails that I want? I now know that th this can run in the background. Now at any point, by the way, you can press hide and run multiple playbooks at once. And with the magic box, you're also able to create your own automation rather than having to go to those templates I showed you. 
So if I wanna do a qualifying one as well, we could put qualify LinkedIn companies and save to Airtable. Press the letter AI assistant build it for you. Now from here, what it's gonna do is scrape data on an active tab, scrape the data from the company URL, and utilizing our classification, it then could in fact qualify it. First of all, we're gonna actually have to go to a LinkedIn page. So for example, say I were to type in the search chat productivity apps, select companies, and then click Bardeen. Click on this and let's pick five companies in total. So as you can see, I actually had classifications earlier, but what I could do here is I could put a new classification task and get started. So I want it to be sales leads, train an AI to determine if a sales lead is qualified or not, or I can choose my own categories. So what is the nature of my business or industry? I am a productivity and AI app content creator looking to work with companies that provide software to enhance productivity and press save answer. Describe the products or services your business offer, video creation, blog creation, newsletter, writing, and help docs writing. Press save. What is your target customer profile? So I would say small businesses, medium businesses. Press save. And then we can have qualified or not qualified. Press continue. Enter a name for your classifier, qualified, so that I know what this is. And then I can continue without training it or train it. And then I could save it to my sales CRM. So let's go here, type opportunities. Remember my inputs, but mainly just for the classification in the air table. I like adjusting the number. And then you'll see it's gonna scrape the data. And in our sales CRM, it'll end up running and trying to qualify these opportunities. So you can see the names are even coming through like Apps Alberta headline. That's actually some of the companies that are in there. So it's just grabbing the companies from that search and then trying to place it into our CRM and seeing whether they're qualified or not. So it seems like none of those were qualified actually. Now a way that maybe you could fix that is if you were to create a new classification, grab sales leads, and then put in your information again and train it with some leads that you already have from different places like Salesforce or HubSpot or Pipedrive. Any of these different tools are gonna really help give some context to it so that it enables it to get a better qualification. And now you'll notice here that a couple of different companies were captured as to whether they were qualified or not. And also with Bardeen, you're able to map different data automatically, like the LinkedIn profile. As you can see right here, this hyperlinks out to the Calendly account on LinkedIn. And then as well, you can see that it's a company based in Atlanta, Georgia with 501 to 1,000 employees. And that is reflective here. That's what you can see inside of Airtable. The same can be said for Hugo here. Clicking on this, I can go and see the Hugo account with the amount of employees, where they're based, and also any other data that would make sense. You can totally have Bardeen scrape for it. And another great thing that can be done inside of Bardeen is you can actually try to find business emails so that you could, you know, for example, have a point of contact email that you can easily utilize in your CRM. And if needed, I could adjust this view to be qualified versus unqualified. So we can do all items and then we can do a duplicated view. That would just be for qualified. So we can do qualified items, go to filter, qualified or not, do qualified. And then you'll notice that just Calendly shows up in the qualified or not section here. Pairing a qualification and classification is a big update inside of Bardeen as we are able to do things that massively adjust our workflows and I like to trust that humans can do things pretty well. Automation ends up leveling up the ability of our day-to-day -day activity because Lord knows I'm not scraping through all these companies. No, no, that's not, that's not a thing. Calendly, thank you for popping up in here and making my day better. If you like this video, make sure to leave a like, check out our magic box tool and these different playbooks with the classification and qualification updates today. Also make sure to like, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.